Today we're shooting a video for Lee Waterworth up out of Canada. I wanted to check out a video of his F-cam getting ground. Uh, today we're going to be doing the 272 grind on the camshaft. Uh, as you can tell, there's four different lobes. There's the two outside lobes, which are the exhaust, the injector intake, the primary intake, and the VTEC intake. Again, that was the exhaust, injector intake, primary intake, and VTEC intake. All three of these have to be blueprinted for the VTEC pin to lock and engage the VTEC rockers un under VTEC RPMs. Uh, the exhaust lobes do not require blueprinting. There's some numbers that I scribbled on there getting the tooling ready. This piece right here is the driver dog that holds the camshaft in the machine. This is the index head right here. You're able to modify and manipulate the lobe separation if required. Over here is the index plate, which has the numbers, the firing order of the different banks. And here's where the tooling plates go. This is the intake plate, the exhaust tooling plate, and then the VTEC plate. The machine only holds three plates at a time, so we'll have to grind the exhaust, the intake, and the VTEC, and then we'll shut the machine down, swap the tooling back to do the injector lobe, the little pump. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> about 15 minutes of machine setup that has already been done swapping to a narrow, uh, more narrow wheel our standard grinding wheel won't fit between the lobes Here it's grinding more off the bottom than the top. That's how we increase the lift. And the material we remove during grinding is picked up when you set your valve last. And whenever we're regrinding a camshaft, we'll try to remove the minimal amount of base circle possible to maintain base circle for rocker arm adjustment. That one lobe's done, I'll go ahead and hit the other exhaust lobe on the same cylinder number one. Yeah, it's hitting the bottom, the sides, and then over the top. That's increasing duration at the same time as the lift. See there, the wall was cleaned up. We'll let it spark out to ensure that the tooling is being properly tracked. Remove the grinding wheel at the top of the lobe. And go over to number two cylinder. And in a four cylinder application like this, all the cylinders are 90 degrees from each other. So number one cylinder was zero on the index plate, and this cylinder is 90 degrees on the index plate. The third cylinder will be 270 degrees, 
then the number four cylinder will be 180 degrees because the last cylinder is always opposite of the first cylinder on a four banger.